So I want to show another error that has, can be seen uh, doing an install of DSFW, and this is getting into the XAD configuration. As you can see, uh, you get uh, this error that it failed. If you click abort, then you're done. You're going to have to rebuild this server. So you don't want to do that. Um, you can click retry. We'll just show, have it do it again. Let's click the details on the error and we can go through this error again here. So we see that it's contacting our eDirectory server, the 5.1. The 5.2 is our DSFW server. So it's trying to determine if a partition exists or it wants to make the domain. And uh, checking it out and it says partition query did not succeed. Now what is it actually doing? The actual query is, let's just look here, so this is the, the uh, Y2 log, and you'll see a, a failed, yeah, right here, failed to configure uh, XAD, and you can scroll up from there and see exactly some more information about what it's doing, what, you know, why it failed. So the partition query did not succeed, basically what we just saw in that screenshot. Uh, and let's go and run a, uh, what it's doing, it's this command, it's NDS stat dash p and it's going to look for the uh, partition so in this case it's o equals novel oops let me get that o equals novel dot you need your tree name t equals dsfw underscore tree and it needs to end with a dot and since we don't have a replica on this server it's pointing to that uh, to the e directory server it's doing a dash h one five one or 192.168.0.51 uh, you can put the port it's going to do 524 by default and it's usually doing a dash n you don't have to do that if, if you don't want to but it's doing that no replicas found so let's just move it up one uh, let's try the tree see if that is returned we need a leading dot as well so we do that there we, we it returns the server that has a replica so or all servers that have a replica. So if we remove that dash n like this, then we get more information. We see the partition name, the replica types, and if there was more servers with the replicas, we'd see them all right here. Another option you can do is the dash r, which will show everything. Uh, if you actually let's do it this way dash we want the dash h because we need to go to the other server because we do it on this one there's nothing's going to return because it doesn't have a replica so da dash r enter and this is going to pull up everything so we can see there's a partition o equals d o equals c and we can see every server that has a replica of that partition so we we can see there is no partition listed there let's make sure let's uh go ahead and log into imanager so we'll pull it up, iManager, we can see, just looking right here, we're mapping to the O equals Novell, and we can see it does not have the partition sign on it. So here's the partition sign, it's not partitioned, that is our problem. So let's quickly add a partition, create a partition, and let that run. If there is a partition and it's failing, make sure that your it, it's the the right e directory server is listed. It's a server that has a replica of that partition. And just run this command dash p with the name of the the domain. Now remember, you have to have your tree, so it's dash p, and you have to have a leading dot and an end dot. And then in this case, it's going to be a, a dot o equals novel, and then dot tree and and, and the, the server that we're pointing to. If you want uh, another troubleshooting thing, is, is point to another uh, eDirectory server, see what happens. Uh, make sure that it's the right port that's listening on, the, on that server. So we do this, and we can see, hey, there it is. The eDirectory server is now listing. If we go ahead and run this now, it should continue. So let's say, OK, let's reconfigure, and this should finish up. So let's just. Uh, See what the tail of the this is the Y2 log, and this is oh, we can see our NDSDC init log. It, it would not get to this point if it did not, uh, the if the 
var opt novel xcd log and it's the ndsd uh, init dot log was not uh, created so it's done that it's going and creating the objects and it should end with creating your administrator and uh, uh, th there's like three objects that, that it ends with so it's go right now you can see it's creating the domain information and uh, uh, continuing to run through um, setting it up so uh, this looks to be successful it's still it's still running uh, but uh, anyway, if you see that error, run that, that command NDS config, sorry, NDS stat. Uh, you can do the dash R for the will return everything, or the dash P and do the dash H for the host name that you are pointing to. Obviously, itself, it will fail because, like I said, it does not have a replica of that partition. So, hope that was uh, helpful in uh, troubleshooting some, some uh, DSFW errors during the install. Thanks for watching.